trusted advisors, or at least that's what he calls them. This guy's known as the smart one, ladies and gentlemen, Chad Whittington. So I harked back to my speech class, and the teacher said, just pretend like everyone isn't. And I just want to say, you guys are great. You're really nice. You know, but uh, on a serious note, um, you know, I'm just incredibly proud of both Greg and Amanda. Um, they've come a long way since, you know, dating online, which was kind of new to me, so I was kind of skeptical initially. I was like, oh, how's this going to work out? And then I met her for the first time, and I just absolutely fell in love with her. She's phenomenal, and uh, I was able to meet uh, her family and spend some time with you guys, and you guys were absolutely wonderful. I really enjoyed it. But anyway, just to tell you guys about our family. We grew up in Texas. My dad was construction. My mom stayed home, but um, she also um, helped my dad out. So, but to make a long story short, um, <laughs> growing up at our house, was uh, it was kind of interesting because we were always getting in trouble, and my mom was sort of, I guess, very learned in the art of discipline. So um, she had several uh, uh, tools of her trade to include, you know, belts and spatulas and spoons and whatever else she gave her hands on. But the one we were most afraid of was the paddle. And this wasn't just any paddle. This was like Farrell Whittington 2.0 paddle. She, uh, no, she was very clever. She actually drilled holes in the paddle. I think she did it for two reasons. I think number one, it was the speed of the swing. So, you know, kind of reduce that uh, resistance. And then obviously when it hits your butt, you're actually your butt. Get sucked through the holes. So Greg and I would sit there and compare welts on your butt. But um, one time in particular, um, true story, Greg had gotten in trouble at school. So he uh, got paddled and he came in and he said, he was crying, he said, Chad, he goes, we got to get rid of this hat. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't think about it. And about an hour later, I was like, what's that smell? What the hell is that smell? And I walked into the kitchen and there was smoke billowing out of the oven. And I'm like, what the hell? And it was glowing. And I went over and I opened it up and Greg had turned the oven all the way up and put mom's paddle in there and it was on fire. <laughs> so, but that's the kind of stuff that Greg did and I just got so many memories. One, one other time, um, I had a go-kart, I worked really hard to fix it up, and I told Greg, I said, don't drive my go-kart. Please don't drive my go-kart. And literally, in the time it took me to tell him that inside, and walk outside in the front yard, I turn around, and there's Greg at the stop sign on the go-kart. And he's like seven, he has no teeth, and he's smiling at me, and he's all happy, he's like, yeah, I got one over on my brother. So he peels off, and he's like two blocks, and all here, he got pulled over by the police. <laughs> His first ticket at seven years old. So. Uh, but anyways, um, I'm truly blessed to have both these guys. Um, and, uh, Greg has always been there for me. He's the he's the guy that shows up. You know, if you need something, he's there for you. You know, I'm proud to call you not only my brother but my best friend. Love you very much. I'm very proud of you. And you, gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And I. Love you so much, and, and as much as Washington well, State as much, but I'd like you know to have opportunity to spend more time with you. I mean, I live in Florida, and so I'm not down here very much. But in the time that I spent with Amanda, I've just grown to love her immensely, like, and what gives me comfort. Um, we were talking on the phone one time. I said, "You you love Greg." And he said, I love I love your brother. And I'm like, how much do you love my brother? Because I'm protecting him. And uh, she said, "He's my ride or die." And when she said that, I was, I, I knew I could pass off the torch. So, with that being said, I love you guys both very much. And just, uh, I don't have a cocktail because I'm going to toast real fast. Sorry. <laughs> but, to Greg and Amanda, may you love, 
honestly. I have this number, I guess. <laughs> Love honestly. Um, what's that? Yeah, live honestly. Love effortlessly. There we go. Yay! Fight respectfully. Ooh, and forgive unconditionally. 